Hey everyone, this is Joel. Uh, I wanted to make a quick video because a year ago today I uh, decided to make a short film every week and dedicate myself to this channel full time. And uh, in that time, in those 52 weeks, I've actually made almost, I think, 160 films, 160 shorts, one feature. I got another feature on the way, so that's like three a week almost which has been crazy. It's just been busy and fun and is what I love doing. So uh, I, never, I never have a dull moment when I'm doing it. I love filming, I love editing. Uh, there's really not a moment that I am like kicking myself. So that's really nice. But um, yeah, last week I released uh, Forget About Everything for a while, which is a film Mason and I made, an hour long movie that we shot in six days. and uh, completed in two weeks from start to finish, which um, was amazing. And I just think it's such a exciting time to be a filmmaker and an, an independent filmmaker, especially. And when I say independent, I don't mean that chic, cool, independent that you see in theaters that is still super corporate and super driven by the systems we have in place. I mean like people who just grab a camera, no questions asked and make something. And I, I think we're seeing a lot of that. And um, I, you know, my friend Cody Clark just put up a couple of his films on his YouTube. Uh, he made this great one called Bad, which is shot in 10 hours. And it's just a movie about a couple being in a bed all day. And that one's really good. And he made this other one that I helped on called Strummer. And I recommend you watch both of those. They're both great. Um, Dan Lotz and uh, Joel Dick made um, Chlorine, which is an improvised feature film. And um, he got a lot of success on that, which is exciting. Because I think this is something people want. People want to see that people can make movies and put them out themselves free from all the bullshit and free from all the systems. And I think people want to see that, but um, we're just, we just aren't, aren't creating a system yet where people are encouraged to do so and people are shown that that's a viable option because it, it is and um, I think every time somebody makes a movie and releases it themselves it has this incredible potential to inspire and create a snowball effect where everyone is going to start making their own movies and you know I, I made a promise um, back when I released my movie Island that if anybody makes an hour long movie, like a feature length movie, so like 40 minutes and up, and sends it to me that I will get around to watching it and I'll let them know what I think and everything. And um, so far I've gotten a, a couple, about six or seven I've watched, and I just love watching them, you know? Because they're, you know, they're all developmental films or something of the sort where it's not, it's not um, a fully fledged voice yet, but it's still so exciting to see people realizing this exciting new potential for um, truly independent filmmaking. And I love to watch those. So uh, if you make a movie, I will watch it. That's my promise. I, I will watch it, whatever that means to you. It means you got one person who's going to watch your movie and that's, that's better than you could say about submitting it to festivals. That's better than you could say about anything that somebody's actually going to care about your movie and that's a guarantee. So. I just like to put that out there. But yeah, I mean, I always say now is the best time ever to be a filmmaker, and I think that's more true than ever with this corona situation, because, you know, look at the industry at large, everything's shut down, no one's shooting, release dates are being pushed back, and like, suddenly we have this opening where people are at home, people are on YouTube, people are online, and I've proven, and a big point of my quarantine film, Forget About Everything for a while, is you don't need a lot to make a movie. That was made entirely by two people in one house, and yeah, it was a really nice house. We were so, it was great to have Mason's family's location. That was something incredible, but that same story with a few tweaks could have been told in a small house, in an apartment. It could have been told in any number of ways, and there's, an infinite amount of other stories you could come up with and tell with one person, two people, three people, you know, um, I just think it's, 
such an ideal time to create because this kind of filmmaking is invincible you know you could you could uh always grab a camera and just shoot something and you could always upload to youtube so from concept to distribution we can still do it when everyone else is floundering and i think uh that's a big reason why i'm so inclined towards these improvised like everything i do is improv i've never written anything this last year i haven't written any any uh scripts or anything it's all improvised and i think a big part of that is you just do it you know there's none of this nonsense of like how are we going to get funding how are we going to get this we got to cast it and all of that like you could see can go up in flames like imagine all the productions that were scheduled to shoot between february and june or whatever they they're all in limbo because of all this planning that has to be done so i think there's this huge exciting opportunity for quick improvised feature films to just shoot up online and in a year that's now gonna have far less releases or at least they're all gonna be cramped at the end of the year maybe, but we, we could just prove to people that they don't need corporations and they don't need, they don't need uh, these systems that work against them in place to deliver their entertainment, you know? They don't need to be sold entertainment. Like if you make a movie for no money with what you got, cell phone, my friend, Jack Gordon just made a movie on a cell phone and I'm super excited about that. And, uh, but you, you don't, you know, if you can do that, you don't need to sell it. You don't need to, you don't need to, uh, recoup the finances. You don't need to get the industry's attention with it. You, you can put it out and you, you'll find so much more gratification off of people online resonating with your film because you can see their comments directly to you you know it's not like it's not like you get a film distributed and then your whole audience interaction is reviews on imdb or like metacritic like you actually have people reaching out to you and commenting hey man i really love this or hey man this or that and you could interact with those people and it's just such a rich environment to create in because you know uh, like maybe 70% of the people in my comments are also creators. They're also posting stuff and a lot of it's really good. So like it just feels like a new wave of creators that just need to be convinced they can do it. And I'm not, I'm not looking at myself as some uh, hero. I, I just think I can be one of many people to encourage people to do it and just, yeah. I don't know. But with that all said, um, I just hit uh, 2,000 subscribers. Took longer than I hoped doing 160 videos. It, you know, it, it, it's been a lot of work with uh, very slow growth, but I, I'm keeping positive and I'm not going to stop making stuff. And uh, thank you so much to everyone who supports me on Patreon. That is the greatest thing in the world you could ask for. That's that's especially considering my content's free you know those are people just supporting me because they love what i do so that feels really good and um yeah what else do i want to say um i don't know um, i hope everyone's safe i hope everyone's uh kind of getting a nice break from life it could be kind of stressful financially but um if that's not the case, uh, use this time to create, use this time to uh, experiment, use this time to, I don't know, reach out to people you haven't talked to in a while. I don't know, but uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, I hope you continue to watch and uh, I hope you share some of my stuff because hopefully we could get my channel growing big time. Uh, I think I'm making great stuff. I, well, I know I'm making great stuff. It's just a matter of getting eyes on it, but um. At the end of the day, um, I do what I love and I can't complain. So uh, thank you so much. Have a great night. Love you. Testing, testing. One, two, testing, testing.